Welcome to this video in which we will be designing and assembling this internal gear. So let's get started. Click on new, select assembly and click OK. Cross this window. Now select front plane, click on sketch. Select this circle. Make a circle like this. Make sure select uh, MMGS as units. Click on circle and make another circle. Now select smart dimension and make the dimension of the bigger circle as 100 mm and for the smaller circle make dimension as 40 millimeter. Now press the control button on your keyboard select both circles and make relation as tangent. Then select the centers of both circles and uh, make relation as vertical vertical click ok now select uh, the design library here in case you do not have this design library click on add-ins here and select this option SOLIDWORKS toolbox library and then click ok scroll down and select ISO in ISO select power transmission here select gears and select this spur gear <laughs> okay for spare spur gears uh, you can configure these parameters module number of teeth I have already set these parameters so you can copy these parameters or you can make uh, your own design click escape button and now select this internal spur gear drag it here and I have already set the parameters for the internal gears module number of teeth you can copy these uh, parameters click OK now press the escape button now right click at the spur gear and click on floor so that it can rotate and move rotate this uh, gear and rotate the internal gear as well now click on mate select this circle and the internal dia of the spur gear similarly select this larger uh, circle and the outer circle of the internal gear click ok now it's time to fix these both gears in a plane but before that move the spur gear away from the internal gear so that you can visualize it okay so now click on mate select front plane and the and the surface of the spur gear and you can see and you can see this is fixed to the front plane now similarly we will do the same procedure for the bigger gear select this surface and then select the front plane and yes both the gears are fixed to the front plane now you can see it from here now before going to the motion study we have to adjust the teeth of both of these gear in such a way that they do not touch with each other zoom in and adjust in such a way that they do not touch with each other okay that's fine now let's make a final uh, relation between these two gears select the outer body of the bigger gear the internal gear now expand this bar for the spur gear the smaller gear and then expand the tooth cut and click here show now zoom in here and select this uh, dotted line this is the pitch circle of the spur gear click on mid ok so select this mechanical and select this gear relation and before clicking ok select the gear ratio as 50 ratio 20 uncheck this uh, reverse option click ok now ok so now uh, click on this sketch and uh, hide similarly hide 
these uh, sketches as well now we are ready for the motion study okay now select this motion study expand this bar select motion analysis there in case you don't have any option for this then click on here add-ins and select this option solidworks motion then click ok ok then go to settings and uh, make frames per second as 30 ok now select this contact option and select both of the gears then click ok after that select this motor option and assign the motor to the smaller spur gear okay and then uh, set the speed as 3 rpm 3 revolution per minute click ok and now click on this calculate option and here we have the rotating internal gear pair in order to save the animation select this option select this mp4 file select frame per second as 60 or 50 16 ratio 9 okay please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you